the 10th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe takes to the stars. I'm Joakim Jackson. My review of Guardians of the Galaxy, now on Joakim's Movie of the Week. The 10th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe meets a new team that has the guts to save the galaxy. They just didn't know that yet. The roster includes Star-Lord, played by Chris Pratt, Gamora, played by Zoe Saldana, Rocket, voiced by Bradley Cooper, Drax, played by WWE star David Bautista, and Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel. We have to stop Ronan. How? I have a plan. You've got a plan. Yes. First of all, you're copying me from when I said I had a plan. No, I'm not. People say that all the time. It's not that unique of a thing to say. Secondly, I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. What percentage of a plan do you have? You don't get to ask questions after the nonsense you pulled on Nowhere. I just saved Quill. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago. No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something else. Oh. She's right. You don't get an opinion. What percentage? I don't know. 12%. 12%? <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real. Totally fake. That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life because that is not a plan. It's barely a concept. You're taking their side? I am Groot. So what? It's better than 11%. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Thank you, Groot. Thank you. See? Groot's the only one of you who has a clue. But we're not gonna stand by as evil wipes out. When the galaxy is threatened by Ronan the Accuser, the galaxy trembles in fear, worried that they will be destroyed. Now, in possession of an infinity stone that can wipe out the entire planet, this band of misfits must save the galaxy. We are treated to this adventurous thrill ride, the likes of Star Wars. In true Marvel fashion, staying close to the comics as possible. Plus, the music showcased in the film brings us back to the good old days of being good on a feeling. This is a great origin story that takes us off the beaten track for, for Phase 2 of the Avengers Initiative, but sets us up for future movies to come in Phase 3 beginning in 2016. This might not be the best idea. This was a very fun and fast-paced, electrifying film, and with that, I give this movie a 5 out of 5 stars and a see it. And especially for all those Marvelites out there, you got to keep continuing to watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So right now, I am outside the G Good Rich Quality Theaters Randall 15 IMAX here in Batavia, Illinois. They have 15 theaters, one of them being an IMAX theater right behind me, and the D-Box Theater, which I talked to you guys about last year. That was the motion capture, uh, the motion uh, seats, uh, where you feel like you're in the middle of the action. Also, they have the real, uh, real D, three D theaters as well. And for those of you that don't know, this was actually where I had my first job. So I used to work here. This was my first job. So be sure to catch Guardians of the Galaxy here in IMAX and in real D, three D. And for more information on this theater and for all the Good Rich Quality Theaters, go to GQTI.com. To catch all my reviews, go to YouTube.com, search jo Joe Navy Productions for Joe Keem's Movie of the Week and for Price of Admission. And to catch all the reviews, all right here on CravyTV.com as well. And you guys can follow the Facebook page, just search Joe Keem's Movie of the Week. And you guys can follow me on both Facebook and Twitter. Just search Joakim Jackson on Facebook and on Twitter at JoeNavy24. I'm Joakim Jackson. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the movies. <laughs>